Hi and welcome to my new video and my channel. And if you are into watch related content, please subscribe. So thank you. Today on my hands, I have the Casio MWD 100. And in this case, after MWD 100 comes HD, which stands for this material and bracelet combination. And this is the one with metal bracelet. There are variations with rubber band and different color details on the watch itself. When I first looked at this watch, it kinda reminded me on G-Shock GST series with its outer bezel, buttons and round subdial, with its barrel grooving looks to it. I have to say, the design is very good. It's pleasant to the eye. But unlike GST series, it has more modest function range and capabilities, as well as materials used through out of the watch itself. The bracelet is classic flimsy and jingly stainless steel low range Casio watch style, but for the price it's just fine. The functions are very much basic and classic Casio. You have 5 alarms uh, and there is even a monthly alarm. There is timer as well as dual time and stopwatch. The watch has 5 digital dials. Two of them show the time and date. The barrel grooved one is used for 5 alarms. And the snooze option has a dedicated small round dial at 3 o'clock. Then there is the upper dial which counts seconds in standard timekeeping mode and in other modes has a different function. Setting the watch is done manually by setting the time and date individually so there are no time zones or home cities. As it stated on the bezel, the watch is illuminator so it has LED light with afterglow and it's done in amber yellow, which does its job just fine. The problem occurs uh, with these older digital screens on Casio watches, which are bad if you are reading them on a different angle rather than looking at straight at it. It kind of fades and you have to position your hand just right to see the time. Overall, Function and looks wise, it's a great investment. And for the price, you get very good looking watch. It has multiple screens for various informations. So the dial looks busy and rich in informations. Small drawback is the watch mineral glass, which is slightly raised above the outer bezel, which makes it a scratch target. Buttons are protected and have a great feedback when pressed. The shape of the watch, including the dial and overall as a package with 100 meter water resistance and 10 year battery life is a great deal. In the rest of the video, I'm going to run over all of the functions and features of this watch, including how to set it up. Welcome to the detailed how-to tutorial part of this review and a tutorial video. First of all, I'm going to start off with how to set the time and date, but before that, I'm going to show you how to quickly switch between 12 or 24 hour time format. That is done uh, while you are in the standard timekeeping mode by simply pressing this start or stop button over here. And as you can see, as I just press the start or stop button, this P indicator, sorry for that, this P indicator over here appeared, indicating that we are in the PM region. So by pressing the start or stop button, you're shuffling between a 12 or 24 hour time format. Now let's pr proceed to setting the time and date. Again, whilst you are in the standard timekeeping mode, press and hold the adjust button until you hear the beep. And first in a row of settings is setting our seconds value. Now, you cannot set the exact value of seconds, but what you can do is simply press the start or stop button over here to reset it back to zero. Once you're done with that, press the mode button, and now you are in the position of setting your uh, hour, hour value. Now, uh, since I'm currently in the 24 hour uh, time uh, uh, format, I'm going to set my time to the 24 hour time format. That is done by pressing the light button or start button to shuffle, sorry, all in the start button uh, to shuffle my value of hours. So 
by pressing the start button i'm rotating the value up to 21 o'clock with which is currently the correct time right now for me once you're done with your hour value simply press the mode button and flashing continues to or moves to the minutes value now in my time zone is 37 minutes but and pressing the start button start stop button i'm gonna set it to 37 minutes okay here we go that is 37 minutes once you're done with your minutes value press the mode button once again and now you are in the position of setting your year value by pressing the start or stop button i'm gonna move it to 2022 and there it is once you're done with that press the mode button once again and now you are in the position of setting your month value by pressing the start or stop button i'm gonna shuffle my value all the way to january so pressing the start button cycles through the month value once i'm done with that i'm gonna press the mode button once again and we are in the position of setting our uh, day value again by pressing the start or stop button i'm shuffling to number 18 which is january the 18th which corresponds to january the 18th uh, currently uh, in my time zone once you're done press the mode button once again and as you can see we are back to the beginning and we have run through the cycle of setting the time and date to implement those settings simply press the adjust button and now the watch uh, is uh, has implemented all of those settings as you can see it's tuesday 18th of january 21 o'clock and 38 38 minutes alarm mode uh, this watch has five independent daily alarms and alarm mode is uh, entered simply by pressing the mode button once from the standard timekeeping mode and as you can see AL over here indicates that we are in the alarm mode. In the alarm mode you have this dedicated dial which lights up when you turn on each individual alarm so pressing the adjust button I have just turned on alarm number one and as you can see this is lit up. And if I press it once again, it will turn the snooze alarm number one. So by pressing it again, it will turn all of them off. As I said, this watch has five independent daily alarms and you can shuffle through alarms over here by pressing this start or stop button. So here I go, number three, four, five, and you have hourly time signal. Now let's get back to the alarm number one. As I've shown you previously, to turn it on, simply press the adjust button once. If you want it to become a snooze alarm, press it once again. And if you want to turn it off, simply press it uh, adjust again. And now, you, as you can see, all of our uh, spots are blank, which means that the alarm is turned off. To, uh, this, this over here is the alarm uh, hour. This is the alarm minutes, alarm number. And this, over here, you have your alarm date. That is in the case if you have your uh, different alarm types. The alarm type is determined by the settings you make. So let's uh, adjust alarm number one. Press and hold the adjust button and now you have your hour value flashing. By pressing the start or stop button, I'm going to set it to 12 o'clock. So by pressing this button, I'm shuffling through the value of my alarm. Once you're done with your hour value, press the mode button and uh, flashing continues to minutes value. Again, pressing the start or stop button will cycle through the minutes value. And when you get to your designated value, you just uh, leave it at that. Once you're done with your minutes value, I'm going to leave it at uh, 12 o'clock sharp. Once you're done with that, press the um, adjust button. Now you have your alarm turned on and it is... Uh, the, your uh, daily alarm and it will sound at one uh, uh, exactly at 12 o'clock to turn it to snooze alarm simply press the adjust button once to turn it off press it uh, one more time the procedure is the same for the uh, all of the alarms now press and hold the adjust button and now we are in, again in the position of setting our alarm value let's say we have set our uh, hour minutes and now we are in the position of setting our um, month value 
what is that well when you set the number over here uh, you basically set the month hour and minutes for the alarm time this type of uh, setting causes the alarm to sound every day at the time you set during the month you set so set so let's say i want to uh, have my alarm in month of uh, may exactly at 12 o'clock every day and i'm gonna leave it at, at this so to implement this setting i'm gonna simply press the adjust button now since i don't want to do that i'm gonna get it back to this uh, line over here well again pressing the mode button once again you enter this flashing of two two lines this is for setting your um, monthly alarm and your date alarm what is the date alarm date uh, when you set the month day hour and minutes for the alarm and this type of setting causes the alarm to sound at a specific time on the specific date you set the monthly alarm however is when you set the day hour and minutes for the alarm type uh, time this type of uh, setting causes the uh, alarm uh, to sound every month at the time you set on the day you set so basically, by pressing the mode button, you shuffle, you are shuffling between the various settings of your each and every individual alarm. So let's say I've set my alarm. I want to turn it off. Now I'm going to show you how to turn on the snooze alarm. So pressing the start or stop button while you are in the alarm mode gets you to this. And that is your uh, snooze. So pressing the, uh, sorry, your hourly time signal by pressing the adjust button. And it's indicated over here that my uh, hourly time signal is turned on. By pressing the adjust button once again, it turns it off. And basically, those are the uh, basics of the alarm mode on this watch. How to use the countdown timer on this watch? Um, from the standard timekeeping mode, press, and, press the mode button once twice and you are in the countdown timer war which mode which is indicated over here now as you can see i have uh, set my uh, time to 13 uh, uh 30, 13 hours 23 minutes and 00, 00 seconds to engage the countdown press the start button and now the time is beginning to count down also you have your seconds indicated over here in this upper dial digital dial now to stop it press the start button and to reset it press the adjust button to set the countdown time press the press and hold the adjust button until you hear the beep and now you have your hours flashing to set the hour value press the start or stop button let's say i want it set to 15 minutes i'm gonna set my hour value to zero And here we go to set the minutes value press the mode button and you have your minutes flashing let's say i want to set it to half an hour here we go once you're done press the mode button again and as you can see we are back to the setting of our value now to turn the uh, auto repeat uh, press the light button and as you can see this feature is turned on to turn it off simply press the uh, uh, the same button again once you're done press the adjust button and now you have implemented your countdown time to engage it again press the start button stop uh, the same button to stop it and the adjust button to reset the value those are the basics of the countdown timer mode. stopwatch mode uh, to enter the stopwatch mode press the mode button once twice three times and you are in the stopwatch mode the stopwatch mode lets you measure the elapsed time split time and two finishes the display range of the stopwatch is 23 hours 59 minutes and 59.99 seconds over here you have your one one hundredth of a second units over here you have your hours you have your minutes and you have your seconds now let me run through the uh, steps or ways of how to measure your time first of all i'm going to show you how to measure the elapsed time press the start button press the 
exactly the same button to stop it, resume it, stop it, and uh, adjust button to reset the value. How to measure the split time? Press the start button, press the adjust button, SPL is displayed over here, and as you can see the time continues to uh, be measured. Press the same button, so adjust button to split release, stop button uh, to stop it, and adjust button to reset the value. How to measure the two finishes? Press the start button, press the adjust button, so first runner finishes, and it, the time displayed is the, is the time of the first runner. Press the stop button, the second runner finishes, adjust button. Now the displayed time is the time of the second runner and the adjust button again to reset the value. And those are the basics of a stopwatch mode on this watch. Dual time mode. Um, the, let's enter the dual time mode. That is done from the standard timekeeping mode by pressing the mode button once, twice, three times, and pressing it for the fourth time. We enter the dual time mode, which is indicated over here. The dual time mode lets you keep track of time in a different time zone. The seconds count uh, in the dual time mode is uh, synchronized with the, uh, your seconds in the standard timekeeping mode. Now, how to set your time? Well, press and hold the adjust button. So be, uh, remember that we are setting our dual time, so our secondary time zone. Again, press and, pressing and holding the adjust button, we will hear the beep and the hour value will start to flash. And as I've said, now you are in the position of setting your hour value. Pressing the start or stop button will shuffle the hour value. Let's say in our secondary time zone, it is 10 o'clock. Once you're done with that, press the mode button and now you are in the position of setting your minutes value. Again, by pressing the start to stop button, you are in the position of setting your minutes value. Once you're done, simply press the adjust button and now you have implemented that setting which means that your dual time mode or dual time value is 10 o'clock and 31 minutes and those are the basics of the dual time mode on this watch and with uh, dual time mode explained we have basically ran through the uh, review and detailed how to tutorial video on this watch Thank you very much for watching and if you are into watch related content, please subscribe. So thank you.